pro-life debate continues to cloud the Republican health care plan. The GOP's American Health Care Act would repeal and replace former President Barack Obama's Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare. The House version currently includes pro-life protections, but the big question is, will those protections remain in the Senate's version? If those pro-life protections are scrapped in the Senate because of strict budget rules, the health care plan could expand abortion more broadly than Obamacare through tax credits. We are closely monitoring this on EWTN Pro-Life Weekly. Joining us now for her analysis is Marjorie Dannenfelser, president of the Susan B. Anthony List, the pro-life advocacy group we are teaming up with for this program. Thank you for being here. I love being here. <laughs> so Marjorie, can you explain why the pro-life protections may be scrapped in the Senate? What's the deal there? Well, if you really want to sound like a, a Capitol Hill insider, say it might not be birdable. What does that mean? Hmm. Well, there's a senator from uh, West Virginia a long time ago named um, Senator Byrd. And it, his rule, and the rule that stands now, is that it has to deal. It has to be a budget savings. It must deal with a budget for this to stay on the bill. So, what does that mean mm. for us? It means that the um, that uh, the Planned Parenthood uh, piece that is on there does affect the budget. We know that because we've already been through that with the Congressional Budget Office. But also, uh, any Hyde Amendment protection in terms of the health care bill uh, must also be ruled by the parliamentarian as a budgetary item. So that is our concern. Everybody at the White House, everybody mm -hmm. in the Senate, everybody in the House, including those who um, sent the House bill uh, out, you know, who put together mm -hmm. this House bill, all want this. There's no question that it's wanted. The question for the pro-life movement and the mandate for the pro-life movement mm -hmm. is to make sure that nobody forgets that wanting, that it has to be absolutely without question and a movable uh, decision that it must be on that bill or, that, or it cannot be voted for. So defunding Planned Parenthood is financial, but that mm -hmm. Hyde language, that pro-life protection may not be birdable. That's the, that is the issue, yeah. So, so birdable is the mm -hmm. new vocabulary word for us. Something to learn. Yeah. So we're expecting a Senate vote soon um, right. to overturn former President Barack Obama. Shortly before he left office, he um, created this order that would prevent states from defunding Planned Parenthood. Who will you be monitoring for this vote? Mm -hmm. So the House passed this, and now it goes to the Senate. It only takes 50 votes. It cannot be filibustered, so that's the good news. We need 51 votes to win. Mm -hmm. We will be watching those folks who are up for the Senate in 2018 who are on that sort of middle ground watch list. Mm. And we're concerned, very, very concerned, that they might go the wrong way on this. And who are they? They are mm. self-described pro-life member Senator Donnelly, um, Senator mm. Uh, Height Camp from North Dakota, okay. uh, Senator Tester, Senator Nelson from Florida. It's good for viewers who might live in those states to maybe That's reach right. out to their congressmen. It, it is vital. In fact, it's moving so quickly that uh, really weighing in right now is vital. And never ask your question, is it worthwhile? It is always mm. worthwhile. Mm. Um, the idea that somehow you have a senator that you think has been voting against you a lot doesn't make any any difference, especially when we're moving into 2018. They really mm -hmm. do hear it, even when you think not. I know because we hear it from folks on the Hill. When I worked on the Hill, I know what happens when somebody pulls the alarm. It's because so much consi constituent um, activity has been going on yeah. in, in, the, um, in the office that you know that your member has to adjust or listen or give some feedback hopefully vote the right way, which is what we want. They can't ignore the voices that Amen. they hear. Right. Just last week, Vice President Mike Pence met with some pro-life leaders, mm -hmm. including Susan B. Anthony List's Marilyn Musgrave. What mm -hmm. have you heard from it? Was it a productive meeting? It was a very productive meeting. I mean, we're dealing now in a beautiful new day where mm -hmm. we visit the White House pretty regularly, and especially in a moment like this when there's so much on the line legislatively. The number one agenda item was to talk to Vice President Pence mm -hmm. about that Hyde language in okay. the Obamacare replace bill that we just talked about. Mm -hmm. The whole issue was whether this will be birdable or, uh, or not. Mm -hmm. It is not in the Vice President's control or the House's control or even the random Senator's control about whether it will be birdable. There is one person who will decide whether this Hyde language stays. It's the parliamentarian. Huh. The issue we wanted to get across is if it's not in there, if the Hyde Amendment is not in there, just as when we discussed this in Obamacare just seven years ago, mm -hmm. we cannot vote for it because it'll be taxpayer funding of abortion again, and we just move, are planning. We're planning to move out of that. And there will be an impact for those who don't support pro-life right. protections as well. And our viewers were going to go to our, our call to action after this, and our viewers can see how they can also be involved in the pro-life movement. Marjorie Dannenfelser, thank you. Thank you as always.